All right, so we all know Tesla for its electric cars, right? But let's switch gears for a moment, because something else from Tesla has been stealing the spotlight lately. The Optimus Humanoid Robot. Now, Tesla might have taken its time mastering electric vehicles, but when it comes to robotics, it feels like they're moving at lightning speed. The recent WI Robot event was the biggest hint yet that Optimus is inching closer to being in our homes. And get this, it's likely that soon, people like us will be lining up to put in pre-orders for a robot that can handle a wide variety of tasks, communicate with us, and respond to commands, all for around $20,000. Now, if that doesn't grab your attention, I don't know what will. Imagine having your own robot helper that costs about the same as a new car. The future suddenly seems a whole lot closer, doesn't it? But here's where it gets interesting. Optimus, while impressive, has sparked a lot of discussion about how autonomous it actually is. There are rumors floating around that, at the event, some of these robots might have been remotely controlled. That begs the question, are these robots really as smart as Tesla wants us to believe? Or is there someone behind the scenes making it all happen? And to be fair, it's a valid concern. You see a robot performing all these complex tasks, and naturally, people start asking, how much of this is the robot's own intelligence? Well, stay tuned, because we're about to dig into what's really going on under the hood of these humanoid bots. The WI Robot event was supposed to be about the RoboTaxi, Tesla's futuristic self-driving cab. But let's be real, the second Elon Musk rolled out 50 humanoid robots, all eyes were on Optimus. No one expected Tesla to bring that many robots, plus a couple of fully autonomous cars, to the event. It quickly became obvious that the real stars of the show weren't the RoboTaxis, but these humanoid robots. And here's what's cool. These robots aren't just starting from scratch. Tesla has integrated a lot of the same tech from its electric vehicles into Optimus, which has helped them move faster than many of their competitors. Things like battery systems, motors, and AI from Tesla's cars are being repurposed to power these robots. So they're not building Optimus from the ground up they're building it on proven technology. Now, let's talk about what Optimus can actually do. We've seen it fold shirts, sort batteries, and hold eggs without crushing them. Sure, these are basic tasks, but imagine the possibilities once it can do more complex things. At the WI Robot event, for the first time, people got to see Optimus up close, touching it, interacting with it, and watching it work in real time. It's a big step forward from earlier prototypes that were shown behind glass. And the dream for Optimus goes beyond simple tasks. Tesla envisions these robots doing everything from cleaning your kitchen to bringing in your groceries and even cutting the grass. You could be away for days, and when you come back, the house would still be in perfect order, your pets fed, and the lawn trimmed. Sounds like science fiction, right? But according to Elon Musk, this is the future Tesla is aiming for. Now, showing off a robot that's still in development is a risky move. Let's face it, anything could go wrong. It's like baking a cake for a party and pulling it out of the oven before it's fully cooked. You just hope it doesn't collapse in front of everyone. Tesla knows this. Yet, they brought Optimus to the event understanding full well that not everything is 100% perfect yet. There's also the risk of competitors copying their tech. Think about it. Bringing Optimus out in the open gives other companies a chance to see what Tesla's doing. But Tesla didn't back down. They took a gamble, and honestly, it seems to have paid off because Optimus generated a huge buzz, despite still being a work in progress. And speaking of competitors, Tesla's not the only player in the robot game. Companies like Unitary Robotics and Boston Dynamics are making waves too. 
Unitary is already selling a robot called the Unri G1 for $16,000, which is a bit cheaper than Optimus. But here's the catch. So far, we've only seen a promo video. No one has actually gotten their hands on it. Then there's Boston Dynamics, which has been in the robotics game for decades. They've developed the famous Atlas robot, but weirdly enough, they never released it for real-world use. Instead, they scrapped it to work on something new. In contrast, Tesla has cranked out three generations of Optimus in less than three years, and they've already let people try them out. That's a pretty big difference. One area where Optimus still lags is its speed. Right now, it can only move at about 2 miles per hour, and Tesla's goal is to get it up to 5 miles per hour. That's still pretty slow compared to some competitors, but Tesla is focusing more on upgrading the robot rather than rushing it to market. And let's be honest, no one's going to buy a robot that crawls around like a certain US president. You get the joke. But once they iron out these quirks, it'll be ready to roll. Now, back to the elephant in the room. How autonomous is Optimus really? Some reports suggest that during the WI Robot event, Optimus might have been remotely controlled. While it can do basic tasks like walking around on its own, there's speculation that more complex actions were performed with some human help. In fact, Robert Scoble, an attendee at the event, said on social media that Optimus isn't thinking for itself yet. Instead, it was being controlled by Tesla's team. It can handle some things with basic AI, like walking, but for more complicated tasks, it still needs a little human assistance. So, while the robot is definitely impressive, we're not quite at full autonomy yet. Despite all the excitement, some people, especially investors, are a little skeptical. After the event, Tesla's stock actually dropped by 11%. Why? It seems like people were expecting more details about Tesla's short-term plans, particularly around the robo-taxi and full self-driving FSD technology. But others are still hyped, recognizing that Optimus is a huge leap forward, even if it's not perfect yet. Now, let's pivot to Tesla's CyberCab, which was another big highlight at the event. It's this fully autonomous vehicle with no steering wheel or pedals, and it's going to be produced at Tesla's Giga Texas factory. Interestingly, the CyberCab shares a lot of parts with the Model 3 and Model Y, which makes it easier for Tesla to ramp up production quickly. The idea is to make this robo-taxi more affordable by streamlining its manufacturing process. But, unlike the Cybertruck, the Cybercab won't be made out of steel, which keeps costs down. Tesla's really betting big on robo-taxi technology being a game-changer for how we all commute. Back to Optimus. Elon Musk didn't shy away from making bold predictions. He's confident that, over time, the price of Optimus will drop to between $20,000 and $30,000, which is cheaper than a lot of cars. If Tesla can pull this off, Optimus could become a household staple, helping with everything from mowing the lawn to grocery shopping or even babysitting and dog walking. Musk even mentioned that Optimus could perform almost any task we ask of it, including things like teaching or being a companion. This idea of a multitasking robot reflects a future where AI and robotics aren't just doing factory work or specific jobs. They're integrating into our daily lives in ways we can't fully imagine yet. In the end, Optimus represents a massive shift, not just technologically, but also culturally. If Tesla succeeds in making robots affordable and accessible, humanoid robots could be as common as smartphones. Imagine living in a world where robots clean our homes, assist us in tasks, and maybe even provide emotional companionship. That's where Elon Musk wants to take us. So, the big question is, are we ready for that future? Optimus might just be the first big step toward it. Whether we like it or not, 
Robots like Optimus are coming, and it looks like they're coming sooner than we thought. So, what do you think? Are you excited about Optimus and the future of robots? Or are you a little cautious about how all of this will play out? Let me know in the comments below. Tesla's vision for the future is ambitious, and we're all watching to see if they can pull it off.